Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be building a table with a twist. I'll be using five quarter hickory, little black walnut, and mahogany for the base. Come watch how I did it.
you have it, a table with a twist. Uh, as you can see, this is my uh, lazy area, the man chair of the house. Uh, and I needed a table for here and wanted something that wasn't always right in front of me and uh, I could move it out of the way. A uh, place where I like to do my editing is right here. So uh, what better way to do that than build a table with a Lazy Susan on it. Uh, the mahogany on the base of this table weighs about 10 pounds. It is extremely heavy and uh, it did a number on my chisels, on my planes and everything. Uh, I had to make sure I stayed up on sharpening. Uh, it was chipping it out. Uh, I had the had some blowout on the bottom there, as you saw in the video. I uh, was able to fix that, even though you'll never see it. Uh, my OCD got the better of me, and I, uh, I went ahead and fixed it and, uh, and made it look all pretty. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done any draw boarding uh, for the breadboard ends, and uh, it went pretty well. Uh, I did offset my, uh, my holes in the tenons a little bit too far away, and uh, had to kind of wobble them out a little bit, but uh, I'm able to, uh, the wood's gonna be able to expand and contract with the seasons. It gets real humid and real dry here, and uh, so that'll be good, and hopefully the table will stay flat. I'll get back with you and, uh, and let you know after about a year or so how this, uh, how this table's holding up. Uh, the Lazy Susan that's underneath this, underneath this that's making it spin uh, isn't really that great of a quality. I am going to be looking online to see if I can find something a little bit more durable, a little bit more sturdy. Uh, this is one I got for like five bucks at Lowe's. So, uh, you know, I kind of knew it going in. I had to add a couple extra screws because it, uh, it was making the table wobble and move. And, uh, but uh, I was able to get it secure and it should work for now. Uh, and uh, I'll give you guys a link in the description below uh, on what I decide to get. Uh, the finish I use three coats of Danish oil, uh, let them dry, is, and let the wood just soak it up and then, uh, and then wiped it off and then added another, added another application of the stuff. Uh, in the video it shows this with a shiny finish. That was right after I uh, applied the Danish oil but it's uh, dried out to a satin finish, which I like a lot better. I'm really not too keen on the, on the shiny finishes. Uh, any of the tools that I've used, the chisels I used, the Brad Point pits I used uh, for drilling the holes and doing my uh, mortise on the base there, uh, I'll link in the, in the description below. Uh, please use that link if you're going to Amazon to do any shopping. Uh, I get a little bit of a kickback. It helps me keep making these videos and, uh, and entertaining my viewers, uh, which is one of the reason I, reasons I do this. Uh, I'm in the shop most of the time, so uh, I might as well film it and show you guys. Uh, but it takes a little bit of finances to do such things. Everything that I, that I do now, I buy and pay for uh, myself with my job. And... Uh, with that, I thank you guys for viewing. And if you like what you're seeing here on Shop Dust, uh, please feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you like, and uh, if you wanna see more, hit the notification bell and be notified when it's time for a new video. And with that, you guys keep working in the shop.